we in the same tuning? Yeah, I think so. How's everyone doing? No one's here yet, but uh, I'll say hello to everyone. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for joining me on this. It's, it's not going to be very long. We'll do about 10 minutes or so. I just want to do a review on the uh, the Music Man guitars, the uh, Music Man, Ernie Brawl Music Man, Axis EX guitars versus the Edward Van Halen model, Ernie Ball. Uh, the real ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's Saturday, March 21st, and it's, what, 5.32 on uh, the East Coast? And what is that, 3.32 over there? 3.32. Oh, 2.32. 2.32. 2.32 on the West Coast. And we have uh, Fender Guru. Hey, man. Uh, the chat is here. Nice to see you, too, the two of you. And hopefully we'll get some more people. But this was just a very last moment thing. I didn't let anyone know what I was doing. It's just you know, it's like hey, you know what? I got to do a review. Let's just do this. So, uh, so yeah. So we're doing these guitars today. You can't even see mine. Yeah, you can actually. You can actually. Yours is the right color, which is the cool thing about it. Uh, Chad, you wanted to be invited in? I can invite you in. Give me one second. Let me do this for you. You want to talk a bit, Johnny, while I do this real quick? Hey, this is Johnny Bean. Make sure to subscribe to Johnny Bean TV. <laughs> Listen to the podcast. The podcast is up on Spotify. I'm, actually, I'm thinking about moving the podcast to another uh, service provider. So I was working on uh, on some of that a little earlier. Charles Green, dude, thank you again so much. Thank you. Caleb. Hey, Joseph. The Chad, Fender Guru. Everybody. <laughs> Man, it's so nice outside. I don't know why I'm sitting here. I do. It's so nice. Are you allowed outside? All right, Chad, I yeah. sent you the invite to your Facebook Messenger. All you have to do is click on the invite and follow the prompts. No, we're allowed to, we're allowed to go outside. Oh, okay. We, we went for a walk last night. Mm -hmm. Mr. BHB. Is that Bruce? It is Bruce. Bruce, I was watching you last night, man. You were awesome. You and um, Joe Wentz. Um, who else was on there? Who else? Sure. I, for hey. I forget. Joseph D'Angelo uh, is here. Hey, Caleb. Yeah. Yeah, so this will be fun fun for a few minutes. I'm so, I just telling Johnny I'm excited. I just bought a new uh, a new pair of headphones. I bought uh, some Audio-Technica headphones that, that sound and feel great, and it doesn't look like I have a set of antennas on me with those like those other ones. Mm hmm Headphones are... Are great. Are yours yeah. noise canceling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can't hear your voice, right? Um, you mean out there? Yeah, this is on my like mine are noise canceling, so I I can't hear myself through here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can hear. I everything can hear. Just sounds muffled. I sound muffled to myself. Oh no, no, I hear everything. Yeah. Hey. This is Chad. Chad Johnny. Hey. How are you doing? Hey Chad, hey, good to meet you. Guys? Good to see you. I've, uh, I've, we've talked a lot on uh, Messenger and everything, Johnny, but uh, it's good to finally see you kind of in person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool room there, man. You, you've got, you've got, uh, man, all you guys got the same deal. That's like Rob's room, kind of, huh? Well, everything's backwards. Yeah, I got a bunch of guitars. We can talk about that some other time. I know it's Dave's uh, show doing this, but yeah. That's okay. Um, we could talk about I'll, a bunch of things. Yeah, man. So I'm just happy to be on here. It's very cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Go Bucks. <laughs> Lots of. Yeah, them. I'm in Ohio. I'm a big Buckeye, Ohio State fan. I know, uh -huh. Johnny, you're a huge sports guy. I know. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my uh, my Ernie Ball. Um, I think it's a '92, I believe. Um, but yeah, yeah. thanks, man. What's the, what's the what's the serial? Mine's a ninety two. 
Oh, okay. Uh, what, what's the eight, first two letters? Eight, eight, seven. Okay. All right. Mine's eight, two. Oh, then maybe mine's later then. What's it the could be a 94. What's the next two numbers? <laughs> what's all the numbers unless it's stolen? Yeah. I don't, does that, <laughs> did I, did I steal this one? I better not read it. You say all the numbers anymore? What? I can't hear you. You're, you're a little robotic there, Chad. Oh, he's oh man. Right, right. He's frozen. My thing's loose. Better? Uh, not really. Better? Why don't you uh, Why don't you uh, go out and come back in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Chad, everybody. All right. Nice to see Chad. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I, I've seen I've seen his I've seen pictures of him I guess because I I recognize part of that wall. Yeah, he's got like a quilt of like t-shirts, concert shirts, right? Is that him? Mm, I don't think so. No, no. Oh, well, when he comes back, we'll see. Because can you guys hear this? Yeah, it sounds great. Actually. Sounds really good. Hey, welcome back. Hopefully it works better this time. Sorry. First time going it, so. I was just act I was just asking Dave, is that behind you? Is that like like a quilt of t-shirts? Yeah, when I was uh probably 19 or 20, my mom took maybe a little older, my mom took all my old Van Halen t-shirts and uh, made a quilt out of them for me. So okay. it's very cool. It's one thing I, I just, I love that. It's, it's really unique and pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. I remember that. I've seen that. I've seen that like on one of the groups or something. Yeah. And when I take a picture of a new guitar, I usually put it up there on a, on a stand and take a picture of it. And then I put it against that quilt. So I'm sure it's all over the internet. Oh, cool. But yeah. yeah. I, I, I used to have a huge collection of, of all those shirts. Every, Every Van Halen concert I would go to, I would basically buy like one of everything. Oh, yeah, right, you know? right. But I always thought for collectible purposes, I would buy everything XXX large, which doesn't make sense because I was going to say. So I could never wear, wear the stuff. I never wore the shirts, but they're always in, you know, excellent condition and everything. Um, right. Yeah. You guys have but, a lot of big shirts you can make into a nightgown. Yeah. But no, I sold all that stuff years ago. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I got rid of a lot of my stuff too, but. Those are the shirts that made it. So, very cool gift. I thought my mom threw them away because I couldn't find them. <laughs> and then about six months later, she came up with that quilt, and I was that was pretty cool. That's awesome. So, Mr. BHB Junior. wants to know what this guitar is. This is a uh, an Ernie Ball Music Man Axis EX. Doesn't have the Eddie Van Halen signature on it. It's a little bit dark. It, it is amber, just like Johnny's and Chad's. But uh, I guess the EX line, all of the ambers were a little bit darker. But the quilt top on this guitar, is it's pretty insane, actually. It's just it's quite killer. Yeah, that quilt is crazy. Is, is that an actual quilt, or is it, a, is it like, a, like a photo flame? No, it's not a photo. It's real wood. Yeah, these are real wood. They're just thinner. It's a thinner lamination than on yours. Yours is a thicker. The thing with these, which I didn't know, is it's definitely a basswood body with a, with a maple cap. Now, the full cap, it's still a full cap of maple, the same, the same size as yours, but the quilt top is a very thin veneer that they, that they glue onto that maple cap. So it's a thick piece of maple and then a thin quilt on top of it, mm -hmm. and that's the difference. So when you look into the pickup cavity, it's going to look like a big, thick piece of maple, and it is, but the quilt top on top is very thin uh, glued onto that maple cap. That I didn't know until just recently, and hmm. that's, that's a main difference between this guitar and the guitar you guys are holding. We're all looking at our guitars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, the neck is going to be exactly the same as yours. It's uh, it's it's even got that little indentation between the third and fourth fret in the back, yeah. Where you can feel it, you, you know, you can feel where the where 
the digitized, it's uh, from Eddie's, I guess, 5150 guitar where there's a little dip right on the underneath. So does your 5150, did you have that added when uh, you did no. your <laughs> No, no, I didn't. Uh, but that's a good idea. <laughs> so basically these guitars, you know, these guitars are, are, are all going to have the same pickups. They're going to have the uh, those DiMarzio, uh, those custom DiMarzio pickups. Uh, it's going to have the same uh, Goto Music Man bridge on it. Except uh, mine. Oh, yours mine. has a real Floyd on it, but yours came with an original Goto, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, my hands, you know, sweat all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you I got a lot of playing on that guitar. I ru yeah, I rusted the bridge got rusted shut. I it got to the point where I couldn't even change the strings. I had to like, you know, use a hammer to get the 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 what do you call these the string blocks out. Yep. And then eventually I just I, I gave the bridge to a friend to try to fix and then he couldn't fix it. Um so I, I put on my original Floyd from my my Kramer Focus one thousand. And you bought that new in ninety one right off the rack? The guitar? Yeah. Uh, it was a gift. Oh, it was a nice. present, but but it was you're the only owner. I'm um, yeah. Very nice, man. That's awesome. And yeah, I know it's a lot of people think it's disgusting. <laughs> it's a beautiful it's guitar. Great. No, no, don't, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful guitar, and I like the fact that that you actually played yours yeah. for however long, what, fifteen years or so? You've played yours, and that's all your muck. I'm yeah. just saying, I would. Fifteen want, years. Well, how long? How long did you play it as your main guitar? Uh, well, I, I, I never, I never stopped, but, but I, I toured when I lived in in uh, in Florida. You know, we played like fifty shows, and every show this was like the main guitar, and then oh. uh, just for years, years and years and years. So maybe ninety, what I got ninety two. Yeah. I would say 92 to 2004 or 2005. Okay, it was so like, 13 years. It was like the main yep. main thing but but uh yeah, I mean if you look at the back of the if you look at the back of your headstock, you know, that's all supposed to be one color. Oh, right. Yeah. And mine is not. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Let me not get you. Not at all. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> See that? Yep. Oh yeah. So it's wild. Oh, and the hex hider right there. I was gonna say, see the hex hider there. Yeah. <laughs> hex hider. So nice. I I need to get one of those. Those are really cool. Yeah, Michael oh, James. When, when you guys try to shake him off. Yeah, it, it doesn't come off. Michael James says he's playing his peak his pink music man right now. Nice. How cool is that? Oh, so yeah. yeah so, so I, you know, I just wanted to go over the color on this real quick. The, you know, the color on this almost looks like it's a light brown or something. Like, you know, yeah, when I first saw it, it looked almost orangish, like an orange, like an brown. orange, like an orange brown. Whereas yours looks yeah. more yellow, like both of you, and that's really the correct color. Mine's mine's pretty light, but mine didn't get played a lot. Um, mine's the opposite of Johnny's, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, I'm not the first owner of this. I got this one of my first purchases off Reverb when I started collecting. Yeah, but uh, be it's one of my built. five or six. But yeah, I love it. I mean, I've always loved it, and um, I had one back in 1991 off brand new, and then I sold it in '92 like an idiot because um, I needed money and wish I had that back. But we all have that problem. We we all do that, right? Yep. So. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, these guitars, I mean, would you say, would you guys say that this, that the neck on this guitar from front to back is, is on the slim side? It's not very big. It's not slim like Ibanez, but it's not big like a Gibson, like a 50s Gibson. That would be for Johnny to ask because I, I don't, I'm not a Gibson guy. But it's one of the it's one of the more thicker necks I play. But it, when I say thick, it's not thick thick. If that makes sense, like a like an old it's thinner than an old Kramer, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But from a Gibson standpoint, John, you might have a more co better comment than me on that. It's. I mean, it's kind of smaller. I mean, it's it's very tiny up here. Yeah, it's yeah. very tiny. Yeah, at the first. Very part, tiny, very tiny, and I don't know about you guys, but my neck is 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 sticky. Well, that's because it's been played. And not <laughs> <laughs> it's sticky. What do you do with that thing at night? <laughs> you know, it's it's very it's a very sticky neck. Um, yeah. I mean, I've always I've always kind of looked at it as like. Uh, like maybe this part from here to like here is almost kind of like like a baseball bat like like half like half of like like the like you know if this was a baseball bat you know you mean like, where you hold it in your hands yeah the smaller yeah. part yes that's yeah exactly that's, that's what it's, actually, it's like half of that yeah yeah it's like if there was another neck on top of that it'd be like part of a baseball bat yeah yeah. yeah, that's a that's a good example, good a good description. Yeah, because it feels thick but thin. I feel like narrow, but yeah. then thicker down here. But as you go up the neck, it, it feels better as you get up here to me. When I say better, I mean I mean the whole. I love the guitar, but uh, comparatively yeah. speaking, talking Ibanez neck, I mean it's, it's apples and oranges, obviously. Right, right. I love the yeah. asymmetrical. I like where the top half. Uh, well, I. I guess the 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 where the uh, where your thumb uh, kind of goes over the fret over the back of the neck onto the fretboard. That part of the neck on the back is rounder than the bottom half. Yeah, so it's more flat sided. It's more flat on the bottom half than it is on the top half, and that's that's what asymmetrical is, and that is super comfortable. That's like. You know, <laughs> So comfortable, really. Yeah. Great. Are the the Wolfgangs aren't like that, are they? They're less like that. Are they still asymmetrical though? Yes, to a point, but not really. Not like this. I, I would consider uh, these Music Man guitars to have more of a uh, 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 a harder symmetrical, and like it's it's more pronounced symmetric asymmetrical than on the Wolfgangs. The Wolfgangs okay. are a little a little softer. Yeah, the Wolfgangs feel pretty much the same. The ones that I have, at least, feel not, not. They don't feel asymmetrical to me, but I mean, it's something you can barely tell, probably, unless you play them a lot. Yeah. And because you and I have a lot of guitars, I tend to not play those as much lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Been playing the PRS lately. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful guitar. Yeah. You too. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, so. <clears throat> Like I said, I was gonna do a review on this guitar, but I figured uh, instead of doing just a straight review, I'd get I get Johnny, and I'm glad you said you'd like to come in because it would be great to have a little discussion about them. I've got a couple of them here. Uh, I, uh, Chad, I know you have more than just a couple, which is really cool. Uh, if you wanted to show them, that'd be fine. But um, people, uh, people that want to get the Eddie Van Halen Music Man guitar to play. And not necessarily just collect. Uh, I wanted to show that that these Axis EX guitars are just as much guitar for a lot less money. Uh, yes, it doesn't have the head the the autograph on the headstock, but really, does that really matter? It's the same guitar. It really is. Uh, save the uh, the amount of wood on the on the quilt or or flame top. Um, somebody yeah, I mean, sent me some of these stickers actually, uh huh, some years back. So I actually have a bunch of those decals, yeah. But you don't and have to, put I mean, like you said, Dave, if you're a collector, though, this, obviously you're going to get the Eddie Van Halen, it's more collectible, it's worth more money, absolutely. Yes, that it also worries me, like what Johnny just said. And I know a lot of people make great replicas anymore. Um, it worries me on the market, like how that's going to go later if like five years from now somebody buys one that has the has the signature is it really an evh ernie ball or is it an axis well that's what i'm going to show you right now how can now, we tell now this guitar you're not going to be able to tell i know this guitar is another axis ex that was uh refinished by craig at chs custom guitars yep. this has 
the Eddie Van Halen yeah. sticker on it. And it's not on top of the wood. He actually uh, took the finish, the old finish off the guitar, put a new Music Man decal and an Eddie Van Halen decal on it, and right. then refinished over it. You'll yep. never, you would never, ever, ever tell that uh, that this guitar wasn't an original Music Man because it even has the made in San Luis Obispo on the bottom. Yeah, and it's scary. I mean, there's no way to there's no way to tell. Yeah, uh, I well. Just by looking at the guitar, you can't. But the back of that neck, is there bird's eye on it? Of course there is. Yeah. It looks good. I mean... And some of them don't have bird's eye. Some of them, yeah. some of the original Eddie Van Halen's, uh, sometimes uh, what, they, what they did in some cases, say your guitar had an incredible flame or an incredible quilt top guitar. Sometimes they would pair that with a very plain neck so you're not getting, you know, this. Right. So you know, because what they would do is, uh, if you didn't have an incredibly flamed or quilted top, they give you a super, a super bird's eye neck to make up for it. You know. Yeah. Uh, the, it's very, very rare that you would get a amazing top and amazing neck at, on the same guitar. You'd have one well, or the other. Yeah, Usually. my pink, my pink one does not have a great neck on it, as far as bird's eye goes. It's yeah. very plain. Almost doesn't look like it has any bird's eye, but I got most of mine except for one from a collector. So I'm pretty confident they're EVH mm -hmm. or any balls. Yeah, um, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. But, but it, yeah. you know, and the weights, the weight of the guitars vary a little bit. Like this one's a little bit heavier than my than my uh, Amber. Yeah. Not much heavier, but a little bit. You could feel it. Yeah. The neck still feels very much the same. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking that th they were pretty much the same all, all, all around. Every everyone feels pretty pretty similar. Yeah. Uh, they also they just sound. Yeah, the Ernie Ball, the so EV Ernie Balls always sound those the pickups in these. I, I don't know if it's a pickup matched with the body. Or the uh, the wood, they just sound incredible for some reason. They really just love them. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm super happy, super happy with these guitars. But yeah, the, and the quill top also on this guitar is is pretty much to die for. And yes, it's yeah. an Act CX. It's you know, it's a f all day around. It's all day. It's a fifteen hundred dollar guitar all day. It's not. 3,000 and the green, you know, you, I guess the green ones, the green real Eddie Van Halen's are fetching about eight to ten thousand dollars now. So, uh, I'll be right back then. Hold on. Yeah, you better get yours. I know. No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the, uh, you know, the, it's like I said, this is a, this is a fifteen hundred dollar guitar all day, but, um, for those of you who want to get a, nerd, a, a real Eddie Van Halen but don't have the money, this is really a great uh, a great guitar to get if you can find them. If you because they're getting now hard, very hard to find, and these are now starting to come up in price. Yeah, I, I got to be honest. I before I watched, I mean, I, I can't remember when I started watching Johnny's show, but I, I found him accidentally probably doing something, uh, showing me how to do something on the guitar, which is pretty cool. Um, but over time, I stayed away from those EXs because I'm just like, oh, they got to be crap. But the more you guys have talked about them and the more I know about them, I still never played one. Um, but I think you guys are the reason the prices have gone up because I think I think people are really turning – you turn them on. You turn a lot of people on to them, I think. Yeah. Because I, if you're I, a collector, then they're just getting for the playability. They're good guitars. I think people mistake the Axis EX for the Sterling brand for the uh, Ernie Ball Sterlings. Yeah, the Sterlings are not good, and the OLPs are really, you know, they're they're really beginner yeah, guitars. I, I always hate to say <laughs> bad things about guitars, but man, I yeah, yeah, and I don't want to say bad things, but they're just not. It's right. not the same quality as as the EX or the original Eddie Van Halen models. Right. Uh, you know this the, this. For all intents and purposes, if Eddie was still with the company, it would be an EVH Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. The only reason that uh, that it's not is because when Eddie left the company, USA Ernie Ball sent all the bodies and necks to Japan, uh, and they were built in Japan. So right. they are American bodies and necks, 
and and all the you know all the accoutrement, all everything that goes with it is is all what would be on an American EVH. Yeah. But since Eddie left, these went to Japan and they were they were uh, put together in Japan and sold for the Japanese public. Uh, and I, I'm lucky to have two of them. Very lucky to have two. Thanks, Rob Johnson, for giving me this guitar. Uh, and thanks, Michael Smith, for giving me the yellow guitar. It's awesome. Uh, so, do you want to you want to show off that green one, Chad? You want to show? Sure. Off? sure. Uh, how do I? If I do stop cam, is that when I go away? No, no. Just go get it. Just go no. leave it running and, and go get it. What? Well, it's right well, here. He might not be wearing pants. Yeah. If you hit stop cam, it'll just turn your camera off. You'll still. That's a different. a whole different video then. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the real that's the real deal right there. Okay, it looks it looks weird color on my computer, but it looks turquoise. Hang on, it let, does. Let, it looks, let me get it's a really screen. deep green though. How big? How amazing is that quilt top though? That's just insane. Yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty it's pretty sweet. I paid a lot of money for it, but I I couldn't pass up the quilt. I can understand. But yeah. That's awesome. So, so Dave, you said eight to ten thousand. So that's if you want it, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't sell it if I offered you eight to ten thousand dollars for that. I'm sure you wouldn't sell it because go find another one. That's like the that. thing; they're they're really hard to find. I haven't seen a green one forever. I mean, and no yours hasn't faded at all. That's not faded. No. That's the full color. No, yeah, it's been it was put away in a case, and he said he never played it. Um, you know, I mean, it has. It, he wasn't the first owner either. But he, he was a collector, and then I got in. It never leaves. All, all these guitars, I don't play out. Um, I used to, but not anymore. And they mainly just stay in my room now. Mm -hmm. So, um, But the other ones, I have a, a pink one, a natural, a blue, a purple, and a red. Yeah. I thought about looking for a tobacco. There's one out on Reverb, but I think it's, I think it's in Italy or something. And I hate paying all that money, all that import stuff. But, yeah. Very cool. Thanks. Yeah, you got some nice guitars, man. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Mr. BHB Jr. says, cool pattern like in that quilt. No. Oh, the, on the on your wall? Yeah. 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 But yeah, my room, <laughs> where I'm sitting, my room looks like a Rob Johnson room with all this Van Halen stuff. <laughs> it was like yeah. Rob Johnson came over here and threw up. <laughs> yeah. At least we I do have well, a couple we, of Rob's guitars, actually. A couple of his guitars, a lot of my guitars. Yeah, but uh, yeah. you have a lot of guitars that I want in that room, uh, way in the back, in the in that way back part over his right shoulder. Yeah, this down this hallway here, I have I have a couple. I have a Ripley back there, which is Dave's. Was Dave's? A couple of Night Swans, and I have a rack of about twenty or thirty down that wall. Oh man! On the end is the pink PRS I just got. Beautiful, but that's yeah. It's all good. We'll have <laughs> we'll have you on the show. We'll have you on a show where we can talk about all your guitars. I promise you. Yeah, man, sounds great. Yeah, I'm kind of freaking out because I'm on the show. Really? Yeah. Well, a I half an hour has already gone by. Can you can you believe how quick that was? Well, <laughs> right. No kidding. Talking to you is one thing because we've talked, but seeing Johnny, I still feel like I'm watching Johnny and not actually. On, a, on the same show with John. It's kind of funny. Well, the cool Weird. thing is you're going to be able to watch this back because it's going to be on YouTube. It's already on YouTube. That's it's, scary. It's, it's printing the YouTube right now. Be careful what I say. Exactly. And now no, you, can, you Johnny, can swear on this channel. Johnny, now that I now that I <laughs> yeah. know what it's like to, to have your own channel, you, you want to protect it. So <laughs> I get it. I can swear all I can say anything on this. You can if you want yeah. to. I, I since I've I've dirtied up your channel plenty of days plenty of times <laughs> i will allow you to curse as much as you want go ahead you just gotta have a, like a like a Mah. oh you have to have a block and johnny go ahead you can, play, you can play all you want play all, <laughs> yeah. play all you like brother that's funny yeah <laughs> i mean yeah. i do i do owe it to him i i have really screwed with his channel for a lot of years so yeah He's probably like, yeah, payback. Yeah, like I'll be saying something, and he'll just be like, you know, he'll just start playing stuff. 
I'm like, man, I can't even hear what I'm saying, you know? Well, I know. And then to get him back, then Dave will start talking. And then you'll use that that voice, that that thing you have for different sounds and play while you're talking. <laughs> you guys crack me up, man. Right, exactly. Oh. Yeah, I just got done watching the Friday Night Show. So, how was that? Cool. It was good, man. It's good. What's your They're honest opinion? <laughs> on I'll tell you off the air then. Okay, yeah, I've, I've heard some things already from some people. <laughs> no, it was great. They're all they're all good, man. They're all good. So I hey, Chris. Watching. Anyway, um, so Chris. that's pretty that's pretty much it. I just wanted to really quickly talk about these guitars a little bit and, and uh, kind of do a little bit of a a, a, a review on them. And it, these guitars are really good. If if you don't have the bucks to buy a real EVH. Get one of these if you can find one. If you can find them, they're just awesome. And that's coming, you know. I got two guys with real EVHs on this show. So that's yeah. pretty much it. Anyway, uh, I expect to do one of these a day, if not every day, uh, every other day, just for a while. Just I'm going to do a review of, of something I have in the house here. Uh, hopefully, you'll be interested. And if not, hopefully you'll come on here and laugh at me a little bit. It's all good. Are you gonna so, Are you gonna review that buddy guy strap back there sometime? I will uh, at some point. Yeah, it's not a buddy guy strap. <laughs> oh, really? Sorry, I had to. I had to. <sighs> nice. That's what That's I get. It. One show, I'm never invited back. Yeah. Now you'll be invited back. It's gonna be fine. So, all right, everyone, I appreciate you joining us for this uh half hour or so and uh i'll see you on the next one um check out johnny bean the johnny bean show on tuesday at, on tuesday with john mancuda i will be making an appearance on that show uh n this coming thursday check out nez says uh, I'll have Eric Steckel as my guest. He's a uh, an amazing artist. He's a Nags guitar artist. Uh, check it out. We'll be uh, we'll be talking to him, uh, and I'll be doing some sort of other review. I'm not sure what I'll be doing a review of, but uh, that's happening this Thursday at 8 p.m. and then Friday night again with Johnny Bean. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. And, uh, I'll, I'll be live tonight, Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. 11, 11 50 Eastern with John B. L. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'll uh, at least pop in the chat and say hello to that. I won't, I'm not sure if I'll do, be on the show, but I'll I'll pop in. Cool. And uh, Chad, thank you so much for joining us on this. Johnny, thank you for joining me on this. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, having me. Nice yeah. to talk to you, Johnny. Yeah, stay here. Don't go anywhere. Uh, I'll talk yeah, to you on the next one, guys. Yeah, don't hang up. I want to ask you something real quick. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, he, he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're still live, Dave. I was going to say hello. Yeah, this is our show now. Yeah. Um, so that rash I have. Oh. <laughs> fuck, shit, fuck, shit.